Hello everyone, my name is Teddy Gu. My name is Abby Xia. So the title of our project is Anthotype, the art of natural pigments. So our, our experiment is basically extracting the natural pigments in flowers, leaves and berries and uh, using these pigments to make prints. The objective of our experiment is first the correlation between the attribute of the ingredient in the emulsion of the to the final print as outcome. Second, the desired artistic style of the prints is determined rather than coming out by chance. Third, ingredients that produce a desirable result are an um, el el eliminate. Fourth, fourth, um, juice ingredients in um, emulsion produce prints with high contrast. Fifth, the tone of the prints is determined by color of the ingredient. Sixth, we learn the scientific principle of endotype and have more understanding of the pigment in plants. For the procedure, step one, smash the petals of pink roses with mortar and pestle. Step two, dilute the pot with three drops of alcohol. Step three, drain the pot through a cheese cloth so that all the liquids in the pot is separate. The liquid in the pot will be the emulsion. Step four, coat the emulsion onto a four by five inch piece of color watercolor paper with a brush. Okay, for step 5, we put the watercolor paper with the emulsion in a dark place until it's completely dry. For, number, uh, for step 6, we place a leaf of Camellia japonica and the leaves of Jacarinda onto watercolor paper inside a frame. And then for step 7, we repeat step 1 to 6 for white magnolia, peach flowers, spinach, spiny red berry, blackberry, blueberry, and orange calendula. For the final step, step 8, we put the frames with all the paper inside under the sun for for three days. All right, after the experiment, we got our results ready. First of all, we found out that the pigments in, the, in pink rose, peach flower, and spiny red berries get darker upon exposure of the sun. The pigments in white magnolia, spinach, blackberry, blueberry, and orange calendula get lighter upon exposure to sunlight. And uh, number three, the contrast for peach flower, pink rose, spiny red berry, blueberry, and orange calendula is relatively low. However, the contrast for white magnolia, spinach, and blackberry is relatively high. Based on our result, we conclude that the contrast of the print correlates to the juice content. Also, the tone of the print is determined by the color of ingredients. However, no conclusion could be drawn from the correlation between the color of ingredient and the contrast of the print. Also, there is no obvious correlation of the tone of the paper and the pigment of the ingredient. Thank you. Thank you. That's it for our presentation.